Protests in Iran getting really serious. Shopkeepers across the country, they started a three-day strike. They shut the place down. And they have executed at least one protester. Katie McFarland with me now. Katie, is there, real, is there a possibility of real change here in Iran? Yeah, for a couple of reasons. First of all, you know, Iran every 10 years has protests, uh, anti-regime protests, but they're kind of, they start, they get suppressed, they finish. This one has gone on for quite some time. So this one is now all across the country, all socio and economic groups, all age groups, and it comes at the time when the supreme leader of Iran, the head mullah, he's old, he's in his 80s and he's extremely ill. So he's probably going to die, you know, in the near term and he'll have to be replaced. So Iran is now at this crossroads of what potentially might happen. You know, the Iranian mullahs, obviously they want to stay in power, but the regime protesters, they're no longer just protesting this incident or that. Right. They want regime change yes. from within. Yeah. So that's why I think it's so important that the Biden administration don't prop up the regime. Be right. with the good guys. Right. I mean, Obama wouldn't involve himself in Iran. In, I think it was 2010. Maybe President Biden should do something or right. say something right now, give some support to these guys. Next case, FBI Director Christopher Wray sounds the alarm on TikTok. Watch this, please. We do have national security concerns, uh, at least from the FBI's end, uh, about TikTok. They uh, include the possibility that the Chinese government could use it to control data collection on millions of users or control the recommendation algorithm, uh, which could be used for influence operations if they so chose, or uh, to control software on millions of devices. Okay, T, that is a long list of grievances and problems. Do you think we should ban TikTok in America? Yeah, he, he, here's the thing. If you download that TikTok, app on your iPhone, you just invited the Chinese intelligence services into your life. They have the ability to see where you're going, see where you're browsing, see what you're doing. They, you know, they now own you in the sense that they now own your data because they're looking. The Chinese government says, oh, no, 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 that's not what we're doing. The TikTok is owned by a parent company, which is owned by the Chinese, but don't worry about it. We're not spying on Americans. And yet it flies in the face of what we know about China. First of all, they, in 2017, they passed a National Security Act saying that all Chinese citizens, uh, Chinese nationals, and Chinese companies have to cooperate with the Chinese te uh, intelligence services. And if they don't, they face life imprisonment or execution. So, of course, they're going to cooperate. And then the second part is even, the, even internally to bite dance the parent company and TikTok, we've seen some of their internal communications, and they admit the Chinese government sees everything. So, yeah, it's a real problem. What are they going to do about it is the bigger problem because yeah. now it's sort of in a whole lot of cell phones right now, and, and particularly anybody under the age of 15. Yeah, it's a real cold war that's actually heating up, too. KT, always good. Thanks very much. We'll see you again soon. KT McFarlane.